wall, the Israeli side of the wall, mm. is that just blank? Uh, it's largely blank. A lot of it is a lot prettier than the, the grey concrete that you see on the Palestinian side. And as you drive up um, uh, Road 6, the highway, um, a lot of it has been uh, landscaped. So you have a nice green hill and trees basically leading right up to the top of it. And so you don't even see the wall. And plenty of water. Well, I think uh, it beats... Uh Beats the sharks of Damien Hurst, I think. Really. Absolutely. Well, I'm going to enjoy uh, going through that book once I can prize it away from Afshin. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you William, very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, if you want to know more about today's guests, go on to our website, www.ritansianridley.com. And don't forget, we're on Twitter and Facebook. See you all next week, same time, same place. I've really enjoyed today's show on resistance. That's true, but uh, we mustn't forget, three quarters of a century ago, there was resistance from all around the world against uh, fascism in Spain. Oh, yes, 60,000 foreign fighters uh, making up the International Brigade. This sounds like a Rovix moment. Don't tell me he's done a song about it. The last Lincoln vet. They were old when I was young. Now they've all but passed away. Now it's just a second-hand memory of the day When from all around the world They sailed off to Spain To fight against the fascists Where so many men were slain Who will recall the days When they all stood side by side Now that the last Lincoln veteran died Beside Martin Luther King Or in a veteran's parade You could see the men who made the journey To join the 15th Brigade When men of many nations Of most every creed and hue Catholics and Protestants Atheists and Jews joined together in the trenches to turn back the fascist tide. Now that the last Lincoln veteran died, the working class of many nations joined in a desperate bid with what weapons they could find. They fought to save Madrid. From Brussels and Berlin, Galway and London town, who will recall the brigadistas who went to keep the fascists down? There beside the Spanish people, even the figs and olives cried. Now that the last Lincoln veteran died. But the fascists had the tanks And Il Duce and Der Fuhrer Deserve only some of Franco's thanks Cause the fuel to move the armor Came from the USA And the men that they gunned down Were from New York and Frisco Bay Uncle Sam claimed he was neutral Who will remember how he is just a youthful phase but the finest communist i've known lived to 95 and he spent his whole life fighting for humanity to thrive 
To forget these fallen heroes is something I cannot abide. Now that the last Lincoln veteran died. Now that the last Lincoln veteran died. called Adharma. It's a place that we all know so well. It was there that we gave of our manhood, where so many of our brave comrades fell. <laughs>